following a zero-carb diet or a very low-carb diet might already come into your radar and you got curious what it is. Is it healthy? Is it safe? What are the benefits? What are the risks? What are the foods I can eat in this diet? You might already be familiar with the ketogenic diet. Keto diet is a low-carb, high-fat, moderate protein diet. Take note that this diet is a low-carb and not a zero-carb diet. These two are different. No-carb diet is more restrictive than keto, and the list of foods I will be sharing on this video is focused on keto diet. Also, I noticed some medical experts here in the internet mistakenly see that a keto diet is high protein, hence they don't recommend it because too much protein is not that good for the body. But maybe they miss that the keto is not high protein, it's moderate protein. Carbohydrate is actually a broad topic to discuss and how it affects the body. So, in this video, we will only focus on the foods you can eat that are zero and low carbohydrate. Before we start the list, here are some of the benefits of the low to zero carb diet. Weight loss, improved metabolic health, appetite control, cardiovascular health, brain health, inflammation reduction, management of medical conditions, increased energy levels, triglyceride reduction, dental health, skin, hair, vision health, stopping the development of potential diseases later in life. These are some of the benefits of going low-carb diet and just ditching away foods that contain a lot of them. I will be making a separate video about this soon, so make sure you are subscribed to not miss it. How to follow a no-carb diet. Some sources say that your carb intake should not exceed to 20 grams per day. Other sources say 20 to 50 grams per day for the keto diet. But what I recommend when you are just starting is to not focus counting this. Instead, start limiting your rice and bread intake for the day and continue this for a week. Continue reducing these carb foods until your body adapts. Soon, you will only be consuming probably less than 50 grams of carbs per day. The difficult part of doing this diet is being consistent, and I am guilty of it. So the question is, what foods can I eat? That will be our focus in this video. Here's a list of 13 foods that contain very little to no carbohydrates. Number one, meat. Chicken, pork, and beef are naturally low in carbohydrates, but they are not entirely carb-free. The carbohydrate content in these is minimal, which is perfect if you are going to go in this diet. The primary macronutrients found in these meats are protein and fat. They are excellent sources of high-quality protein, which is great for muscle development and overall health. Consider how you cook the meat and what you add to it, because it can affect the nutrients you get. Marinades or sauces, for example, might contain high carb. If you're aiming for a low-carb diet, it's a good idea to pick lean cuts of meat and pay attention to how you cook them. This way, you can keep your carb intake on the lower side. I recommend you grill, bake them, or get a keto cookbook if you are worried it might contain carbs. I will still be including list of condiments you can use and not mess up your glucose level, so make sure to watch the entire video to not miss any. Number two, fish and seafood. Fish and seafood are generally low in carbohydrates, and in many cases, they can be considered nearly carb-free. Fish and seafood contains protein and healthy fats. Fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health. Lean fish, such as cod or haddock, is lower in fat but still provides a good protein source. Some seafood still contains carbohydrates, and these are clams, mussels, oysters, and squid. I would not be worried eating any of these since it's still a low-carb food group. Number three, eggs. Eggs are very low in carbohydrates, and for practical purposes, they are often considered nearly carb-free with less than one gram of carb in an egg. The primary macronutrients found in eggs are protein and fats, along with essential vitamins and minerals. Eggs are an excellent source of high-quality protein. That's why people who works out Eat eggs regularly to build muscles. They contain all the essential amino acids necessary for various bodily functions, including muscle maintenance and repair. The fat content in eggs is found in the yolk. While eggs do contain some saturated fat, they also provide unsaturated fats, 
including omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health. Eggs are jam-packed with health benefits, and I recommend you eating them regularly. It's good for your heart, for your brain, eyes, muscles, bone health, immune function, skin health, energy production, essential for the formation of red blood cells and nerve function, and I can still go on in this list. Vitamins found in eggs are vitamin A, D, E, K, B2, B5, B6, and B12. Minerals like iodine, iron, phosphorus, selenium, zinc, calcium, potassium, and choline. I might have missed some, but you get it. Eat eggs regularly. Number four, cheese. Cheese is a good fit for a keto diet because it has very few carbs. During the cheese-making process, lactose, the sugar in milk, is significantly reduced, resulting in minimal carbohydrate content. Take note that sugars are also carbohydrates. They are called simple carbohydrates because they are in the most basic form. Choosing keto-friendly types like cheddar or cream cheese, which have more fat, matches the keto diet's goals. These cheeses provide important nutrients and make keto meals tasty when you eat the right amount. Additionally, always check the nutritional information on the specific brand or type of cheese you choose, as the carb content can vary. Number five, avocado. Avocados have low carbs, making them great for diets like keto. They're high in healthy fats and provide a bit of protein and carbs, but the carbs are mostly fiber. Meaning, this fiber is beneficial for digestion, helps maintain a feeling of fullness, and contributes to overall gut health. It also doesn't spike your blood glucose levels, just in case you are worried about that. The monounsaturated fats in avocados are good for your heart, like lowering bad cholesterol levels. It is rich in nutrients, like potassium, vitamin K, vitamin E, and B vitamins. It also has antioxidants that are good for your eyes. Including avocados in your diet can be a tasty and nutritious way to get healthy fats and essential nutrients, and great if you are trying to lose weight. Number 6. Olive Oil Just like avocados, olive oil contains healthy fat called monounsaturated fats, oleic acid to be specific, with small amount of saturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. On a ketogenic diet where carbohydrate intake is restricted, olive oil becomes a valuable source of energy with no carbs. Its consumption doesn't spike blood sugar levels, making it suitable for those aiming to regulate their blood sugar while on a keto journey. The versatility of olive oil in cooking allows for the preparation of flavorful, satisfying meals that align with the principles of a ketogenic diet. Incorporating olive oil into a low-carb, high-fat diet not only enhances the taste of dishes, but also provides essential nutrients for the body. Perfect for your salad, in which we will be talking about vegetables later on this video. Because not all veggies will be recommended, by the way. So I hope you're still with me until the end of the video. You might get shocked. Number 7. Butter. Butter is regarded as a healthful addition to the diet due to its rich supply of healthy fats. Additionally, it contains fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, B1, and K2, contributing to overall nutritional intake and supporting various bodily functions. When consumed in moderation, butter adds both nutritional value and flavor to meals, enhancing the overall enjoyment of a well-balanced diet. If you can buy grass-fed butter near your place or online, that is much better than getting the grain-fed butter because in the United States, most dairy cows are fed with commercial grain-based feeds. In short, butter from grass-fed cows is much healthier choice containing more nutrients. Take note that butter is healthy in moderation, don't do it every day. Excessive consumption should be avoided because it's high in calories. Now, let's talk about vegetables. At number eight is cauliflower. It's actually quite popular for people already doing a low-carb diet. Cauliflower is super flexible, and you can use it in lots of tasty keto recipes. It can take the place of higher-carb foods like rice, potatoes, or even flour and pizza crusts. This helps you enjoy a variety of delicious meals while sticking to your keto diet and feeling satisfied. There are a lot of keto recipes out there you can get from trusted and known sites or nutritionist and keto experts who share their cookbook. This will help you how to prepare cauliflower and all the foods I will include in this video.
I'm not selling any guides or cookbook for now, but if there is, it's already in the description. Anyway, cauliflower is high in vitamin C, vitamin K, B6, and folate. It also contains potassium, manganese, choline, magnesium, and phosphorus beneficial for overall health. This helps you lose weight because unlike butter, cauliflower is low in calories. You can eat a lot of it without significantly increasing your calorie intake. Cauliflower slows digestion and promotes feelings of fullness, which is an important factor in weight control. Number 9. Broccoli Broccoli is a tasty cruciferous vegetable that contains essential vitamins and minerals, such as vitamins C, K, and A, as well as folate, iron, and calcium. It is a non-starchy vegetable with a low carb content, making it perfect for losing weight. Broccoli is rich in fiber, with antioxidant and cancer-fighting properties. It can help regulate blood sugar levels, making it a suitable food for people with diabetes. What I love in broccoli is, it can be prepared in various ways, such as steaming, sauteing, or eating it raw, allowing for a variety of delicious and healthy dishes. Number 10. Kale. In some places, kale is a bit challenging to find, but if you are lucky, if groceries or marketplace near you always have it, go buy it regularly, because kale is packed with nutrients great for your body. I don't cook it though, I just blend it and drink straight up. Just like the vegetables I just mentioned, this has very low carb, high in fiber great for digestive health. Number 11. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are super flexible in keto cooking, making meals tastier and healthier. You can use them in salads, sauces, tomato juice, or just eat them on their own. Tomatoes add important nutrients to your keto lifestyle and make your meals more satisfying. They're an easy and delicious way to make sure you're getting good stuff in your diet. Tomatoes are rich in essential nutrients such as vitamin C and antioxidants. Great for bone health, skin and heart health, metabolic support, maintains proper electrolyte balance, and according to some studies, it may have protective effects against certain types of cancers. Number 12. Bell Peppers If you are aiming to lose weight and looking for low-carb foods, this is also great to add to your list. Very low in carbohydrates, calories, and high in fiber, making you feel full. Bell peppers are rich in vitamins and antioxidants. They are particularly high in vitamin C, which supports immune health and overall well-being. For those who have high blood sugar levels, bell peppers will be beneficial for keeping blood sugar in check. Number 13. Nuts and Seeds just like all the foods that I have mentioned, nuts and seeds are loaded with nutrients that has a lot of benefits. They contain healthy fats, especially monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which are good for the heart and can lower the chances of age-related heart problems. Nuts and seeds are good sources of plant-based protein, also high fiber content, and provide essential vitamins and minerals such as vitamin E, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc which play crucial roles in various bodily functions. Make sure to add this to your meal or choose these as a snack instead of sweet candies. It's important to check labels for added sugars and carbohydrates, as the carb content can vary between different brands and formulations. Opting for condiments with little to no added sugars is a good strategy for those aiming to minimize carbohydrate intake. In summary, going for a zero or low carb diet can be helpful for controlling blood sugar, managing weight, and keeping energy levels stable. Focusing on proteins and healthy fats can make you feel full and provide lasting energy. It is really nice to hear a lot of benefits that this type of diet can offer. But unfortunately, this is not for everyone, especially for people who have a certain condition. If you're thinking about trying a low-carb diet, it's a good idea to talk to a healthcare professional or a dietitian to make sure it's a good fit for you. As always, thank you for making this far in this video. Like, share, and subscribe.